I mean, this this is an area where people can sneak across the border. But I mean, it, it's not gonna, you know, you can't expect it to be all heavily patrolled. I would kind of expect to see Border Patrol hanging out in the park every so often. Kind of like what I saw in Texas on the border. Just have Border Patrol driving across the soccer field to check me out. Uh, uh. But it is a bit of a drop here in elevation. Okay, got to slow it to 15 for a left. But this turns into the park. I got a car that's caught up with me, and I'm being, you know, the sign's saying 15, and I got a car that's like riding. Oh my god! I got a left, okay. Sherman Park's to the right. Downtown's to the right. Why am I being told to take a left? Sherman, uh, I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, Sherman Park can be kind of, yeah, I'll take a right up ahead. West 24th Street. Sherman Park can be taking up a lot of real estate. Right in half of a mile. A right? Now this is this is not good. I think the directions changed on me. Oh no, actually they haven't. Maybe it's not Sherman Park. Oh my God, the GPS froze up on me. Okay, nobody's behind me. Tanglewood Marsh, Marsh Golf Course. West Sherman Park. Okay, I'm still going to Sherman Park. But the sign said that I could take a right back there, but I also could take a right here. All for Sherman Park. What a rough road. It's so rough, it, I gotta treat it like it's gravel. Shaking up, I just dropped something. Yep, it's pretty much a dead end at this point. <clears throat> to Sherman Park. And Sherman Park seems kind of new because Garmin doesn't seem to recognize it. It recognizes the golf course. So I expect Sherman Park to be kind of a new setup. Alright, it looks like the road might smooth out up ahead. This is one rough patch. Uh, golf cart crossing. <laughs> yeah, it smooths out right here. Big golf carts go across. I wonder if they ride snowmobiles in the winter time. Lake Shore Subdivision. Yeah, they got camping out here, so I'd be interested to see if there's any camping going on. Temperatures are now starting to cool down, getting close to September. And I like to think I'm just not that far north, so I don't need the rush getting south so much. I'm kind of forced to stay a little south in the UP. The UP is not that far north. Oh, yeah, that I saw the water treatment facility. I got a little nervous seeing that. But I looked at the, the way the wind blows, the prevailing winds should be working in my favor. Uh-oh. There's some gates. There's a gate here. Welcome to smoke, to a smoke vape and tobacco free. Okay. All right. All right, this is a kind of a beach. They have a major gate. All right. Uh, children's playground is over there. Um, I don't think I want to park over there. I don't expect it to be too busy around here. So I'll take this parking lot. And, oh, this, this little far end little spot. And 
just work with this. All right, I spent the day here. It's been pretty active, more active than I expected. Cooked a pretty good sized meal. Very rich steak and eggs. Very rich meal. A right? I thought I would take a, a left. Okay. I'll do it. I didn't look at the map too close. Quarters of a mile to the end of the street, then turn left. Okay. All right, yeah, I did go this, I did come from this way. All right. Yeah, um, I'm getting, I get a sick feeling every so often. It's very mild in the stomach region. And when I put magnets over my stomach, it goes away. And when I, I just get out of the car, it pretty much goes away as well. So it seems like it's a laziness issue. Just not moving enough. Because then I'll, if I do, when I do move, sometimes I'll burp. So there's trapped gas that's needing to be moved from roll. I need to roll around more. Need to get up and get into different positions, not just sit on the, sit in the car in one position, watching YouTube videos and whatever. I found this rope uh, that the ships use, like super thick rope I was playing around with a little bit, trying to decide if I wanted to take it, but it's just it's a little too big and heavy for me, so I'm leaving it behind. I can't carry things like that in this car. I have to keep this car as light as possible because uh, it struggles enough. I want to make, want to make movement as free flowing as possible with this car. Turn left along the rest six to be found And I have, I don't know what else I could get rid of in this car really. I've been stuck on, stuck with what I got. Pretty much come down to the minimums of what I got. There's a couple of cameras I could toss. I could get rid of and not worry about. I just don't. I just haven't. So I'm, I'm a slightly hesitant, but also want to get rid of them. Turn right on West 28th Street. Not desperate though. So yeah, I just gonna. I think I'll just go to the Walmart again. Nothing uh, too exciting. Uh, and that's it. Another day here, and I think I'd like to go to the library tomorrow. The library seems okay. Uh, two miles from Walmart. Just one more day tomorrow, and then I'll I move south. I think. Something like that. Somebody's walking on the road. They're right in the lane. Some black guy. Man, I just, I see that happen so much. Black people walking right on the road. That's extremely dangerous. I think he's lost his mind because this is the countryside. I think he's lost his mind. He looked a little out of it. But I mean, he wasn't... He wasn't staggering. Being black in the dark, on a ro uh, dark road like this, he, in dark, kind of dark clothes, he's looking to get run over. Alright, today I'm going to go to a slightly different park only for a little bit and then go to the library after. The library is not even open right now. So, hang a at that park. This library stays open until 9 p.m. so there's no rush. 9 to 9 today? No rush. 
go to the park and see what it's like. Next to the roundabout. Next to the airport. And so that'll uh that'll be uh interesting. Different place to hang out. Two miles. Oh, okay, I got it. Thought I was off course. Not quite. I've been getting a stomach sickness coming back and now I'm gonna have to try different things, new things. I kind of think the diet is causing me some problems, Take but... The first exit to I-75 Bridge to Canada. Is that straight ahead? Huh. I think I, I want to start uh, taking more deep breaths and blowing hard. I need to like maybe learn how to, well, I don't know about that, uh, play a musical instrument with my, with breath. I don't know about that actually. I don't really like being noisy. That would cause me to be noisy. But I, I certainly want to try different things because I got a, I think it's a muscle. I want to warm up. I want to warm up my stomach, the diaphragm, the diaphragm and the stomach muscle effectively. I might be shutting it all down by all this excess sitting. So as I breathe out, I want to strain that. I want to make it hard to breathe out, like breathing through a straw. When I get the sick feeling, I got to straighten out my upper back and breathe out forcefully. Talking does not do it. Talking probably throws, is probably a bad idea. Cause that's, talking is like making me have to change and adjust my diaphragm constantly. Just straight breathing gives me uh, just a consistent diaphragm activity. Turn left, Okay, turning into the airports. Twenty-five. Rough road. Sidewalk on the left, along the fence line of the airport. They don't have any warnings on this fence. It's 25, remember. Secretary of State to the right. I don't see it. Secretary of State. Huh. They're next to the airport. Salt St. Marie Economic Development Corporation. This fence line has trees. Yeah, they don't have any warnings against people from entering. Must be a real small airport. The uh, park, parking at the park doesn't look great. Oh, there's those big birds. What do they call them? Cranes? They look like uh, Nor North American ostriches. I bet they lay some big eggs. Oh no, there's a uh, garbage van. Okay. Playground looks like a castle. Lake Superior State University straight. Or maybe, oh, he's a street sweeper. Sometimes it can be hard to tell. No motorized vehicles. And they're, they're probably talking about on the sidewalk. 
Okay, I could park anywhere around here. I don't, oh, there's bathrooms, okay. Road work ahead. Okay, I'll park just like here. This should be good. All right, now I'm going to the library. It's only 10. Let's see if anybody took my spot. It doesn't get incredibly busy at this library, so it's a good chance I'll have my spot. And if I don't, there are not bad secondary spots anyway. Actually, the spot that I had was not great. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're saying I could take this road, huh? There's a sign right in the middle of it, and there's gates. I can't just take this road. You don't just take this road. Dirt road. I see gates. It says dead end, but they don't put that dead end until the very end. I could see it far off the distance. My eyes can still pick that up. You have to pay double in work zones to hit the workers. All right. Turn right at the stop sign. A double fee. Half price when they're out of the construction zone. <laughs> How about that? How about say that? Half price to hit hit construction workers outside of the construction zone. Watch for pedestrians. Because there's only five, six, seven baseball fields. Apartments around. They pack them in pretty tight. see veterans for Kamala I've never seen that sign before there's a real service vet who loves his Kamala all he has to say is Kamala because that name is so unique it's on its own it's like saying Obama Kamala Obama large bowls of cereal I don't know why my appetite does this to me very much very much torture turn left on Ashland Street this truck uh, dump truck appears to be having difficulty finding time to, to make a turn I can smell it oh you ain't turning now oh he's only taking a right I should have beeped at him I thought he was taking a left and it's not even that busy. He didn't get, you didn't have to wait. Yeah, there's nobody. And that guy's on the outside lane. I could just scooch in here. It should be 25, 35. Okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna get in the right lane here. Turn right to the five road job. Twenty-five down below. Thirty. Got a right coming up. Okay. Oh, I'm forced to take a right. That's right. I kind of remembered that, but uh, wasn't sure. 10.02 a.m., 62 degrees. Yeah, the weather's getting more reasonable around here. Uh. Going back into the downtown. 
Turn right on Five Barrel Drive, then take the first bump. They seem pretty generous with parking, even though everywhere else is pretty tight. They seem somewhat generous. Uh. Uh. Although, I might not find a space. Okay, there is one open space I could just take right now, but it's not ideal. Yeah. Okay. I'll take my old space. Park a little closer to the the edge. Maybe somebody else can squeeze in here. Yeah, I pretty much stayed at this library till nine o'clock, almost nine o'clock. And now I'm going back to the Walmart. I really uh, don't have anything. I'm not really that interested in leaving the city yet. So I like the weather. I like the peace. It's uh, attractive to me. I might come back here tomorrow. Then take the first left. It doesn't. O it doesn't stay open till nine at night. Tomorrow. Uh oh. Did I not see that no left turn before? No left turns here. Huh. That's weird because I took a left. I think I did that in front of a cop too. No left turns. I wonder why they have that sign up. And I never I didn't never notice it last time. It's just too peaceful of a street to, to not take a left. Right, so I drove from the Walmart to this park and made some popcorn. Now I want to go to the uh, library and just play on the computer, nothing too exciting. I'm starting to like popcorn again. Turn white on West 10th Avenue. Something to toast, something that's dry. Turn left on Ashland Street. And he, I was doing toast. I, well, I toasted some bread too. In between the rains, I cooked pop or pop popcorn, and it rained, and then <clears throat> toasted bread. It's just supposed to be rainy all day. Turn right at the stop sign. They're uh, taking a slightly different route because of road construction. They're actually saying I have to go this way. All right. Uh, uh, alt. Yeah, they got something going on. Oh, yeah, I could have taken a right. Oh no. Wait a second, doesn't this, would this take me to the, the border patrol shack? Well, whatever, that's a tall silo on the corner here. No signage to tell what it is, just a tall old looking tower. All right. I right, I see the checkered flag. Trump, Trump Vance. This is a drop. Oh, 
Wow. Okay, I left here. Yeah, I never noticed this hill. Traffic light. Until I had to drive on it. Right, so tomorrow is Labor Day and this library that I'm leaving right now closes, is closed tomorrow for Labor Day, August 30th or 31st, Labor Day. So there's, there's just no coming back here and no, no coming back into the city, no checking out the, the Canadian border. Well, okay, maybe a little bit, but not not in this area. I think I want to head south. I want to stock up on groceries for tomorrow. <coughs> possibly sleep somewhere remote, possibly. I got this park that's... Oh, I should have read those signs. I never read them. Oh, oh is that cop going to say something? He's hitting his brakes. Uh-oh. He's hit oh because of the stoplight, I suppose, but uh Yeah, he he kinda hit his uh brakes. Cause I, I don't know if I'm uh, not allowed to take a left there or what. It's not obvious. Okay, I do have a car in between us at least, but he can still keep an eye on me. It's the second time I've seen a cop. Oh, looks like they want to... They got into the right lane. I'm just a little nervous about the situation. Okay, he's kind of moving up. I got various bugs in my car that are a little annoying. I don't know... There's fruit flies I've kind of dealt with by getting rid of some old bananas, but this this other bug is kind of like a cross between a moth and a fly or something. That seems more numerous in this area this time of year. My bug, my bug uh, experiences have. Oh, that's a cop, and he's hitting his brakes again. Did they turn around? Okay, just hitting their brakes. That might be another cop. I don't know how they would, why they would have whipped around so fast. Out of view, too, of all things. Yeah, there's nobody else behind me. I expect uh, one cop to be uh, still in front of me. But that looked like the same car that coming in the opposite lane. But yeah, I think I'd like to head south of here tomorrow since there's really nothing, there's no library. There's no library for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all around here. I got all my batteries pretty much fully charged, so having food and gas. A working car and somewhere to hang out there's actually this Amish grocery store I want to check out south of here 10 miles I'd like to stop at they open at 8 uh, if it's anything like the one I've I've visited in Wisconsin around Rice Lake Wisconsin uh, they, they I expect to see some uh, interesting things some nice foods well I'm worth worth buying and so I want to keep this Amish grocery store as an option. They're advertising on Google Maps, so it's the only way I, I found out about, about them and marked them. Salt St. Marie, Salt St. Marie, Michigan. Alright, so there's this park uh, south um, east of here. I want to go to. I considered. I considered the Amish 
bakery, but I sure. decided against Best it. Table. I got everything I need at Walmart. I don't need to stop at that Amish grocery store. As curious as it is, I'll just work with. Oh, are they taking a. All right. Left, left. Okay, right into the sun. I guess I'm not going to be recording a whole lot.